Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla build tutorials. This is the strongest range build in the game, I call it the Hybrid Viking Demigod and you can see me do 1108 damage here because I have plus 40 rain damage in perks. And we can actually get this even better and add plus 10 critical chance to it while being constantly relatively safe and far away from the enemy. With this much range damage buff, you can actually defeat an enemy hundreds of levels above you with ease. And to top it all off, no, you're not a glass cannon. You're actually also very deadly in close range because you will have two weapons that work perfectly together in melee. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please share and like. And for more Valhalla build tutorials, just click on the card above or the playlist in the description below to see every build tutorial I have made for this game this year. So as always, the gameplay you see is on very hard and also the stealth difficulty is on Master Assassin. To complete this build, you're gonna need about 200 to 210 skill points but you can really start working towards it once you pass 100 power and you can slowly get to this build. Now uh, what you're gonna need as armor wise you're gonna wear two pieces of the Fane's armor and that's gonna give you an increase to critical chance when parrying and that's key and remember you only need to wear two pieces of this all right this is because you're also gonna wear two other pieces of Huntsman armor which is going to give you range damage increase up to 25 as long as you are hitting enemies further than 20 meters away. So that's two pieces each. Now the bow you're going to need is the Hunnish bow from the wolf class. This one is going to give you increased range damage when hitting a weak point for 20 seconds plus 15 range damage. So that's huge. The skill that you must have is our charge shot. So make sure you get charge shot from the roof skill tree. And also you're going to get the ability blinding rush to further perfect the synergy you're gonna have with all of your armor and that charge shot skill. In terms of your melee weapons, you're gonna need the feared spear in one hand, so that's gonna give you speed buff while you're dodging. Also, you're gonna get the copus dagger in your offhand and give it a lot of block runes. This is because uh, it's gonna restore a low amount of health whenever you critical hit. And for your fifth piece of armor, you can actually wear whatever you like because you got two pieces of Huntsman and two pieces of Fane. So I like to wear a force best plate just for more defense, but this is up to you. And in regards to your skill tree, uh, there's gonna be a full skill tree breakdown at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just gonna start showing you footage so you can see how to use this build in game from a tactical perspective. So starting out most fights, you wanna be about 20 meters away from the enemy and then do your charge shot which is holding down L2 and tapping R1. You don't actually have to hold down to R1, you just get to tap R1 and then it's gonna do it and it can't be cancelled. So you can see me because I've shot an arrow from more than 20 meters away, I'm getting that uh, range damage buff from my Huntsman armor and it's gonna take 5 shots from 20 meters to build it all the way up. But you can see I'm doing a charge shot every time so I'm doing a decent amount of damage, 400 plus at least. Now I'm gonna shoot singular arrows which also build up my uh, range damage but you can see because I hit a weak point there, now I'm also getting my 15 plus range damage for 20 seconds. Now I hit another arrow, now I got that plus 40 range damage from my Huntsman armor and my bow. And right now I'm gonna go for a charge shot, headshot, and now you can see that damage is really adding up because I have built up my perks properly, which is key with this. Even though as OP as the charge shot is, if you fight enemies hundreds of levels above you, and if you get this range damage perk just right, you're gonna be able to destroy anybody. Now, but obviously you can't start off every fight from range at times, so if you end up being in melee distance, don't worry about it. You can actually use poison and your spear and your dagger to just continuously get poison crit heals and also do high amount of attack because of the spear and the dagger combo which is also going to give you heals back every time you crit. So you can see I'm getting heals on my poison crit combo there. I'm just going to be dodging and hitting them as many times as possible. I will get my health back if I crit. And also I build up uh, stamina quite fast this way. So you can see I got my crit heals there. I got my uh, adrenaline back. He hits me again, which hurts a lot because he's like 120 levels above me. But because of poison grit, I gain about 90% back of my health. And because of all the Copas dagger, I'm gonna gain the rest of the back just for pure melee. Now that he's fully poisoned, I'm actually gonna chase for uh, a block or a parry. This is because if I parry him, which is not hard to do when he's fully poisoned. I'm also gonna get that plus 10 critical chance buff. And when that happens, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna get in range now because he's poisoned. I got my critical chance buff. He can't hurt me. I'm gonna start raining arrows from 20 meters away to build up my uh, range damage buff. And you know you're 20 meters away when that perk comes up. So keep an eye on that to make sure you're 20 meters away. And obviously every shot I take, I'm gonna go for the weak point because if I hit the weak point, which I did right there, I also get that plus 15 
And that this plus 15 is huge because the countdown or the cooldown is actually I get a 20 seconds clock on it. So I get that plus 15 for a long time. The rest of the way, I'm just gonna rain in these singular arrows. So I get my combined plus 40 range damage buff. When I get that, and if he's still coming at me, I'm gonna go into blinding rush. So this is the melee ability. Blinding rush forces uh, the enemy to just stay there for a little bit because they can't see me. And I can take all the time I need to charge up my shot and go for headshots within blinding rush, right? And because he's so far away, I can get a couple more in. Here, I just want to show you because previously, I always do the uh, focus of Narnia skill. And you can see it's just not as good as blinding rush. Even though I'm doing a decent amount of damage, maybe 500 here. But if I go into blinding rush, I can actually chase for a headshot. With plus 10 critical chance, plus 40 range damage. If this headshot hits, and it most likely is going to hit, I'm just going to take everybody out in one shot. So that's better than focus on Narnia right there. And another crazy thing about this build is that if you do missile reversal, you're going to get the plus 10 critical chance buff, the plus uh, 15 range damage, and the plus 25 range damage with one stack. But still, every missile reversal buffs you crazy in this. You get free perks from one missile reversal. That's ridiculous. So you can see here, I'm just going to get into the... Uh, mini boss here. I'm gonna go into blinding rush and he can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna do a blinding rush and give him a charge shot. Headshot. So that's deadly. So combine all together, you're also very good at melee because sometimes you just gotta get in melee. If the enemies get close enough, you can't just sit there and hope for charge shots because it takes time. But the melee with the poisoning is gonna set you right up to go into blinding rush and then a charge shot. So blinding rush and charge shot, the synergy is crazy. Try it out for yourself. You literally cannot be killed so uh in terms of the detailed skill tree breakdown i want you to take a look at it right here there's not a lot of uh bear skills that comes with this build it's mostly wolf and raven so make sure when you do get your gear focus on you know getting wolf and ra raven gear obviously the faint armor is gonna be uh bear but the parrying and the 10 percent critical chance is worth it so that's not too bad of a deal uh, the rest of the way you can just see me get every skill here make sure you get charge shot grid make sure you get every skill i actually do get here and every node because when i do do this i focus a lot on the range damage nodes uh the correct weapon buff nodes and also all the uh, poison buff so if you do it exactly like this like i said you can start building towards this from level 100. i say if you're building up to this start off with the wolf tree first once you get blinding watch and charge shot together you're always gonna be pretty unstoppable but the rest of the way then you want to start building towards the raven tree and then just work your way up all right so if you have any questions leave it in the comment section as always thanks for coming by and i look forward to speak to you guys again with even better builds based on these fundamentals very very soon